One of the first things you need to be able to do in order to work on a piano or um, do any maintenance or tuning or anything on it is to be able to open it up. Uh, so this video is just showing the very basic um, procedure of opening up the piano, taking it apart in order to be able to work on it. <coughs> um, on most pianos, um, and we're talking about the vertical or upright pianos in this video, uh, most pianos have a lid that uh, will lift up. Uh, sometimes it's snapped in by with clips, and it usually has hinges on the back that this uh, lid will um, will uh, lift up by. Okay, so you would lift that up. Now, if, um, there are some that the whole uh, music desk and the top is all attached, and then you lift up the whole piece. Um, like that, but uh, mo most of them, the majority of pianos just have a lid on the top that lifts um, like that. Now there are some, like for example Everett Studio Pianos, they have uh, brackets on the back that are not hinged, so um, you, you might want to check that to make sure there are hinges and not just brackets. If there's a bracket with an Allen bolt in the back, uh, if it's, especially if it's an Everett Studio Piano, you'll have to take those, those um, those bolts out because uh, the lid won't lift as it's not hinged. No, but in most cases the lid will lift up. Okay, then the next piece in most pianos is uh, the music desk. A lot of times there's there's brackets or screws or anything just on the inside of the <coughs> of the music desk, and by turning those um, or taking the screws out or however it's attached, there are very different variations based on different types of pianos, then this um, music desk part will lift right off. Okay, when, then you probably want to just set that aside. <coughs> um, and as you can see, some, some pianos have um, this muffler rail felt, um, and uh, it's usually uh, uh, controlled by the middle pedal if, if it has it. But if you're going to tune or do most any maintenance, you're going to want to remove that. Now on this one, there's a there's a wing nut on this end that we can unscrew. On some pianos, they don't have that, so what you would do is you can disengage the spring uh, that's, that's attached to it uh, and disengage it from the pedal mechanism and then take that out. So that uh, moves that out of the way for you. So now we have, uh, we have access, of course, to the tuning pins, um, much of the action. Now, um, for some maintenance, uh, such as if you're going to clean the piano, or um, you need to take, get, take the keys or the action out. Um, now this one, you don't have to take the fallboard off to, to get to the action, but uh, in some cases you do. So um, removing the action or removing the fallboard is uh, sometimes necessary, especially if you're going to do any work in, in taking keys out. Um, and uh, the fallboard is, is, is attached in different ways in different pianos, but if you look in the back, this one has screws that hold uh, a bar on. Um, so we would just, if I was going to take the fallboard off, I would, I would uh, disengage or un take those screws out which would uh, unhook it from those brackets. Um, and some, there's like on, some on, on Yamaha Studio Pianos, they have a, a little hook over on this side that you would just flip, um, or it's a little lever that you would flip, and that would allow you to lift the, the fallboard off. So um, being able to take the fallboard off uh, for some maintenance items is, is necessary. Uh, but for tuning and, and some of the general action work, uh, you don't necessarily need to remove the fallboard, but it can be done. In some Yamaha upright um, studio or upright uh, studio pianos, um, it actually just the fallboard would just lift up off, and uh, it's not a, screwed down with anything. But sometimes there's screws on on either end of the fallboard. To hold that piece in place, um, and then there's this upstop rail here um, that it would also need to be. And there's just usually screws holding that in. So, so those are some things that um, that uh, th those are the, the basic parts that need to be removed generally when you're doing general maintenance on a, or repairs on a piano. 
Um, now the other part is uh, is down here. This this board here uh, is um, is covering up the trap work and everything inside. In most pianos, there's a, just a spring, and you can't see it here, but uh, right either right in the middle or sometimes there's two further out. Um, there's a spring that you just have to push up and then pull out on that board, and that allows you to lift that whole board off, which then exposes <coughs> the trap work. You know, of course, you can see the lower portion of the strings um, and anything down in the lower part of the piano. So the trap work, of course, is the, the mechanisms that, that attach the pedals to the upper uh, part of the piano or where the action is. So um, in a nutshell, that's how you would uh, take apart a piano to, in order to do any cleaning, maintenance, um, repair work on it um, as, uh, as, as need be.